Today we're going to talk about some real life experiences in the, the Rackspace Startup Program. For those of you who don't know, the Rackspace Startup Program gives members access to resources, mentorship, infrastructure, technology, and the fanatical support that Rackspace is very well known for. Today we're going to be speaking with Seth Familian of Mattivate and talking with him about uh, how these resources have enabled his company to get where they are today. That's right. Mattivate is a data visualization platform that enables anyone to take a really long, tedious list it's hard to navigate through and to instantly transform it into a beautiful, embeddable user experience. It's interface on demand. This is one example of a map of over 2,000 employers that are using a company called Hired.com to find candidates. And you can slice and dice across different cities. So for instance, here's everyone in the SF Bay Area and all the different employers, and I can zoom in on an individual employer and learn more about them. Um, it's really just a data exploration tool. And so then I can cross tab on say, show me all of the SF Bay Area employers that are Series A funded. And we've gone from 2000 down to 145. And I can zoom in and check out more information on them. If I click on any of these buttons, this is actually designed as a marketing landing page. So what ends up happening is someone is sent here from a hired email and they're trying to reactivate that person around getting a job at hired. And compare that to scrolling through, this is still a very tedious experience. What did they need to do to get Mattivate on their site? Uh, like the technical particulars of taking Mattivate and putting it on their site. What's One involved? line of iframe code. Yeah. That's it. Both of these pages um, run an extremely complex data visualization that's sitting on top of Rackspace servers and its fanatical support. And yet, all they needed to do was take one line of iframe code and put it in these pages and done. The other particular of, um, you mentioned the lists yes. that, uh, that you're using. What does that look like? What, what does Hired or any other company need to give you in order to give you something to visualize? One CSV file. So we designed the process to be extremely easy and straightforward. So they'll start with their data and they'll generate, you know, uh, a giant table that lists, let's say, all 1,400 plus offers that are visible on this map. And so we'll have a table of 1,400 things. And so long as that table is structured in a predictable way for us, our system can read it and can convert it into this super beautiful visual experience. Why was it important to you in the first place to be putting your service on a service like Rackspace? Back in 2013, back in 2012, we were working with UC Berkeley on the previous version of MapDebate. It was MapDebate for people. And the idea was to basically take a group of alumni who had graduated from the school or a group of students who were coming in and to visualize them as a private community. So we did it as a test in 2012 and it was successful with 2,500 people and Berkeley was psyched and we were psyched, but we realized we were sitting on one box. And when Berkeley came back to us and said, we now want you to expand the test to 12,000 people and then 25,000 people and then 100,000 people, we thought, we don't have the system to support this at all. And one box is going to melt, but what we really need is infrastructure. And just the hardware alone isn't going to be enough. We're actually going to need an expertise that we don't have. It's a couple of different pieces of expertise as well. Mm -hmm. So one piece is helping you get set up. So when we went to migrate from one box to a whole front end, back end, development environment, load balance servers, everything we needed to handle lots of traffic. And the first great resource that we had access to by means of the startup program was a set of advisors who were technical advisors who could look at the architecture we wanted to build and say thumbs up, thumbs down, or sideways. And it was so helpful because then we knew out the gate how to set ourselves up for success rather than for massive headaches down the road. So that was the first big resource that we ended up seeing immediately when we used the startup program. I'm curious whether you've also experienced the back end side of support, mm -hmm. the reactive part of support where you have had problems and whether Rackspace's fanatical support has been useful for you in that regard. There are two pieces to that that have been incredibly useful. So one are the monitoring tools that Rackspace makes available through its platform. And through cloud monitoring, I'm able to get PagerDuty instantly to my entire team. 
So that was the first part. That's right. And yeah. the second part is, is what you were referring to, firefighting. So when you hit a meltdown on the back end, what happens? Mm -hmm. And we recently had a situation where it wasn't a four alarm fire, but there was definitely a slowdown that was happening. Someone got back to me with a really thorough response. It wasn't just, hey, how can I help you? It was, so I've looked into things and you know you might want to consider these options on this issue and these other options on this other thing and here's some research you might want to do, so let me know, advise me. And it was a mode of support, a, a means of supporting us that was so incredible and so above and beyond hmm. where we could really solve the problem fast. And today, here's what happened. Not only were we able to resolve some server issues, but it caused our technical team to uncover other backend bugs, to reconsider processes they were using, hmm. and to make our application better as well. Hmm. So the fanatical support that is built and baked into the brand that is Rackspace ended up making us a better, more efficient development team. You've been in the startup program for a while now. That's right. Has it actually enabled you to achieve what you wanted to achieve? It absolutely has. And what's incredible is that it's enabled us to be operationally nimble and lean as the business itself evolved. So I mentioned that the reason that we came into the startup program was because of UC Berkeley and because of a play on private social networking, which Maptivate is still interested in pursuing in the long term. There was a moment in our, in our trajectory as a company where we realized that we had to stay lean as we pivoted. And we couldn't have all these DevOps people that we were bringing on to maintain that as we were pivoting towards the next opportunity. So that's really where the startup program proved to be an invaluable resource because it helped us operationally support our pilot customer on the initial direction of the business as we then looked to other options for this visualization application and realized, wow, we can apply it to anything. It's lovely to hear you say how successful you've been based on what has been afforded you uh, in the Rackspace startup program. So thank you very much for coming down and speaking with us, telling oh. us how useful this has been and showing us how useful your product is. My pleasure. So those are some lovely insights into the real life experiences of Seth Vermillion and Maptivate in the Rackspace startup program. If you'd like to experience the Rackspace startup program for yourself, please go to rackspacestartups.com. Thank you all very much for watching. Mm -hmm.